friends, Goddess of Awesome here, and today is day number two on tour, and I just wanted to check in and say hello, make a video for you, I'm trying to make one every single day. Um, so today I travel to a new town, and normally <clears throat> I would have a rental car, but there's no banks in the town where I am right now, no banks of mine. So I'm going to hop a bus tonight and I'm going to go an hour and 15 minute by car, almost two hours by bus, down to another city who does have a bank that belongs to me. So I'm going to work that city tomorrow, get hit the bank, get my rental car, and I'm on my way. <clears throat> I just, I don't know how far I'm going to go on this trip, but I know I'm not coming home until everything's handled. Um, I'm going to do, make sure my rent's paid up, you know, in advance. I have a website coming, so I want to make sure that's paid off. So the minute my content is complete, I can have it go live and start this new chapter, my online presence, helping others heal and helping to entertain people who might want to know about this kind of information. So I just wanted to follow up a little bit on yesterday's video. Um, my person who, you know, my time waster, who turned out not to be a time waster, right? He redeemed himself. He had booked for this morning just a 30 minute and um, to his credit, he touched base with me and about 45 minutes before he was supposed to arrive and let me know that his day had changed and he may hook up with me later, you know, catch up with me later today, but you know, he at least excused himself. So that's gracious. That was very nice of him. Most normal clients do that. Um, maybe not in Los Angeles or bigger cities as much, but in the towns that where I go, I, I go where decent people are, like good people. I'm a good person. I want to work on good people, you know. So I'm drawn to areas where there are really amazing, genuine souls. Because I'm a genuine soul. So, you know, I'd like to work on people who are like that. People like that enjoy a person like me working on them too because it feels natural. And, you know, they're not taking advantage of me. And they don't feel bad for coming to have a service like this and I don't feel bad helping them with the service like this because in my heart a hand job doesn't compromise me, doesn't compromise my spirit, doesn't compromise my soul, doesn't compromise anything about me, you know? So for me to be able to administer a hand job to somebody, it really um, doesn't chip away at me, doesn't take anything away from me, doesn't deplete me doesn't vamp me, doesn't leech my energy for me, for whatever reason. Maybe other people it might, but for me, I'm able to, I'm able to do this kind of work. So getting back on track. So my, my person who was supposed to come this morning didn't show up. He did excuse himself 45 minutes before, so we're cool, you know, totally kosher. Would I see him again in the future? Sure. You know, he, he's been playing by the rules, so to speak, so it's all good. Um, my next client... My, well, my first client today um, was a really good person, and he resonated with my work instantly. Within a few moments, he's like, oh, I'm going to be here all day. I'm coming back later today. And, of course, I know he probably won't come back. Um, towards the end of his hour session, he couldn't, he wasn't getting there, and he had requested for some extra time. Um, and I couldn't give him any extra time because I was booked back-to-back for just a few appointments today, like on the hour. So I didn't have an extra 15 minutes to expand the session. So he um, tried at the end to help himself get there and it didn't happen. And he was, you know, as he walked out the door, was very certain that he was going to catch up with me later. And at that point, I almost wondered if he would since he didn't, you know, have his moment. Um, but then after he left, I got a text message asking if I do full service and of course that answer is no. So I wrote back, I only do massage and he writes back, okay. So I know right there, he's not gonna follow through with what he had said, which I already knew that. Um, 
and you know I can't blame him for being a red-blooded male trying to check and see if there's any other options since he had met me already some massage therapists out there who offer more and say they only do massage some of them I think they do massage as a screen right they they see people for the first time for just a central massage and if they're okay with them maybe they do full service later as an option for, to previous clients that's not an option with me you can come see me 50 times or 100 times or three times or just the one time and it's only always ever going to be a hand job that's the section i'm in it's what i offer that's what they get so that was my first person and then my second person who came in was just a charming charming jolly soul and he just had joke after joke cute ones too i mean like ones that really made me giggle and um we started talking about some amish because he works with the amish and i actually am very fascinated with the amish you know i'm a seamstress i sew things i design things from scratch and make things i'm very fascinated with their lifestyle also you know the horse and buggy and um the fact that they live you know meet you know they don't they're minimal right they don't do the electricity as much or a few things i don't know i find that fascinating so he educated me on some of the amish and i learned about mendonites and hooderites which I guess are branches of the Amish. Um, I don't know. So I just want to add here that something that I find fascinating for me in my particular field in what I have been doing for a handful of years is when I work on people on an individual level, like one-on-one, -on -one, right? I'm working one-on-one -on -one, and obviously I'm doing a massage, but sometimes they're quiet and sometimes they're not, right? This person who I saw, this one I'm speaking about who educated me on the Amish, um, he wasn't quiet, right? He chitter chattered the whole time, which, which I was fine with. Um, he had a lot of interesting things to say. So that's, that's kind of a cool thing. Maybe a, um, a occupational perk, if you will, that I get to learn all these things. I get to talk to people and discuss topics I wouldn't normally come across in Southern California. You know, I get to, to go to these different lands and learn about their industry. You know, I get to work on the workers, you know, um, and it's more an intimate conversation than you would find someone at a pub or a restaurant. You know, um, some barriers aren't there since we're having an energy exchange the way we are, you know, and sometimes they just, they roll and they just tell me so many things and I love it. They, they educate me and I learn from them. So I got to learn some things this morning. That was really cool. And then the next person was totally worth mentioning. Um, he booked and um, when he came in the door, he had kind of, with a lower voice, kind of said, um, you know, I was able to go get, I was able to hit the bank, but I wasn't able to hit the pharmacy. Okay, huge flag, right, for me. Pharmacy? What the hell do you need to hit the pharmacy for before coming to get essential massage? So that let me there, me know right then and there, this guy is looking for full service and has kind of anticipated finding that with me in my session that he just walked in the door. So he excused, he needed to, you know, use the facilities when he walked in the door. So he went to the restroom and um, when he came back out, I said to him, I said, you know, you know, I have a massage table right in front of me. I said to him, you know, I only do central massage. And he was said, that's okay. You know, he was down for some body work, some attention. So he went ahead and went with 30 minute session. And upon me working on him for a good 10 or so minutes, maybe 12, he lifted his head up and he said, hey, I have enough. Can we go for the hour? So yeah, that's cool. No problem. So we went for the hour and he just had his full body massage, you know, when it was time for the end. Um, he was very respectful with the, with the touching. Like he was not, you know, some people try to see where their hands can go. This one didn't do that. He was very respectful and um, and listened. He heard my words and he abided by them. So that happens. It does happen. Um, 
it can not go that way sometimes, but this one was a really great guy and he listened, you know? So towards the, you know, as so the ending is happening, it took him a while and, um, you know, he had to kind of reiterate, so there's no FS, which took me a second to get, you know? I'm not into all the abbreviations, so FS, yeah, there's none of that. I'm like, nope, there's no full service. He's like, okay. You know, I don't blame a guy for asking. Sometimes you're never going to know unless you ask, right? It's the ones who ask and 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 ask in the same session who irritate the hell out of me. You know, I'm sure every other central massage therapist who only does central massage, right? Don't keep asking us. You ask us once. Like, I get it, you know? You keep pushing it and asking and be persistent I'm eventually going to start not being nice, you know, my words will be more curt, you know, I'm going to pull my energy back and I might just end the session as fast as possible just to get them out of my space, you know, but this individual, he was kind, he was respectful and even though it lasted a little longer towards the end, it was fine, right, he was a kind soul, it was okay. So, you know, again, a boy, so as we're getting, edging closer to the end, he says, minutes after the FS comment, he said something, so I, I guess that means your mouth is off limits too. Yeah, that's what that means. I only do massage, just the hands. That's what I work with. That's who, when you come to see me, that's what you're gonna get, you know? Um, so because he took a while, you know, I it took me a long time to get this skill set to be able to say what I said to him next because as a green person, as someone who didn't have a lot of expertise or experience in this realm, it was hard for me to tell them, hey, we're running out of time, dude, you need, you need to hurry up, you know. And now I just say, as we're getting close to the end and they're pretty much, their hour is up, you know, um, I let them know. We only have a couple minutes left, you know? And and that's my kind way of saying, the hour's wrapping up, you know, I don't know what's happening with them, but if they could mentally focus a little bit, maybe they could get there. Like the earlier appointment, the one who thought he might come back, he ended up taking over and trying to make it happen, which didn't happen because he needed a lot longer time for that. And, um, Anyways, and that's something actually I've been thinking in my head, boy, I wonder if, how do we convey this in the industry? Is there a way that central massage therapists can add that to their menu? Like, what if you do take a long time by nature? How, what's some code word to say, if you take a long time, it's this much extra, right? Because no person wants to be, you know, if it's only supposed to take five or seven or 10 minutes, and you're working at it 20, 25 minutes, don't you think, and you already gave a great massage, bodywork session, and for the person who takes extra long, A, they're taking more time, B, they're taking a lot more energy. So I think there should be some compensation in there, you know, for that, which doesn't really exist. Um, but I, maybe, maybe some porn people out there, I don't know, figure out some words or, Maybe I'll figure it out. I don't know. Some kind of um, abbreviation. If you take long plus 50 <laughs> or something, you know. So one thing, and, and I'll end this video here, but I just want to say one thing that I did on my way to France when I took my sister to France a handful of years ago and I wasn't certain if I could accumulate enough funds to go to Europe. I don't know. I'd never been to Europe at that point, you know, so I didn't know how expensive it was going to be, but I didn't know. I didn't want to worry about money. I didn't want to worry if I couldn't eat, you know, or if I should count pennies because I can't, you know, I didn't want to be on that tight of a budget. So um, I tried to figure something that I could do to add in some more cash flow that didn't require me going above and beyond the call of duty right? I only do massage. That's all I'm willing to do. So I, it dawned on me that I could offer a double, a double smile to keep it interesting for the people who want more. You know, obviously I don't do more as this person is like, not even your mouth. Nope, not even my mouth. Um, 
but to make it interesting I offered a double so for a f several bucks extra if you wanted to go twice you know on an hour session a half hour session it's not long enough you know it's a there's a refractory time like people men have to build back up you can't just you can't do it back to back every, you know 10 minutes apart some people might be able to some might be able to do that you know so it could be physically humanly possible for some people not most people i would say so the double so and that usually is only conveyed ever in an email. I would never verbalize that over the phone. If you emailed me in advance, then you have the privilege of knowing that that is an option, a bonus option if desired. And I don't say it on the phone and I don't tell people in person because I don't ever want to make anybody feel like they have to do that, you know, or that they need to do that or it's required of them or they, you know, no one likes to have to and no one wants to be impositioned. And some guys can't go twice. So I don't ever want to make anybody feel uncomfortable or you know awkward or you know pushed into anything that's not my intention so so if you emailed me then they get to know you, they would be able to find out that I do a, a bonus if you want you can pay a few bucks extra and have a happy beginning you know and then an outstanding massage and then it finishes just the same. That's almost like a sandwich or um, two scoops of ice cream is actually what I would more describe that as. It's like a double, another scoop of ice cream. Who doesn't want to have two scoops? Everybody wants, uh, two scoops way better than one scoop, right? Usually. So, so that's an option there. Um, which my second person actually went for that option. My Amish friend. Um, well, he wasn't Amish, but he worked with the Amish. He, um... And so, you know, he was a little older, very jolly, happy guy, and he went for the double. So initially, um, the first one got close, but it didn't happen. So then we were able to just let it rest, to do a massage, and come back to it. And on the second go, he totally had his moment, which was fantastic. So that's another place where I think a double could be helpful for some gentlemen. You know, from some of the older ones, um, or just some guys in general, they need a little more time. So if you start that way, and maybe they don't get off, right? Maybe you worked it for 10 or 12 minutes, and you're it's like it's time to turn over, right? We could spend all the whole hour here, which we're not going to do. So it's time to turn over. So even if the first one doesn't happen, like today, it didn't happen, you know, you turned over, you had a fabulous body work session, and then... On the second go it happened so I've seen that happen a handful of times with some older folks where we try at the beginning the first one doesn't happen and then the second one does so that's that's a great benefit of why a bonus option like a double smile could be cool so anyways um, I have a lot more to say to you in the world I'm not inciting this I, I'm not trying to promote girls into this work if you're a girl and you're thinking about going into this industry go look up Amazon FBA, okay? Fulfillment by Amazon. Um, there are a lot of people out there schooling people on this. I, I'm just getting familiar with it. I'm just jumping on that train myself. But, you know, if I knew now, what I, back 20 years ago, if the things existed that exist now, I wouldn't be in this world. You know, I would have went a different way. So you don't need to go here. This isn't for, I'm not trying to say, Come here, little girl. You can make some money this way. No. Um, this is, uh, if you come into the industry, you may never get out. Okay? I'm 39. I'm 39 years old. And I'm still here. It was only supposed to be a little bit. It was only supposed to be a stepping stone. It was just supposed to help lift me up. And it turned into a career path unintentionally. I didn't intend to stay here. I didn't intend to become a resident. I didn't intend to let my 20s go. I mean, I'm 39. My childbearing years are pretty much done. You know, I've been in the industry all that time. So if you're someone who wants to, you know, live the full human experience, and have a life partner and maybe have a family then I would say don't come into this industry whatsoever you know 
affiliate marketing. I've, I've heard 15 year olds can can start affiliate marketing and then it builds them money enough to where they're able to invest in an Amazon business. Or if I was a young person and I and I was watching this video for curiosity purposes and really wanted to make money, then stay home for a few more months and save every penny you make and take that $1,000 or 1500 or whatever you have for your startup Amazon business and run with it. Go that way. That's the direction you should go if you're a young person seeking, you know, financial stability. Because this industry, I have to go get it every, you know, I have to go get it. I have to go in the field. I have to go be present. I have to meet people in person. I have, there has to be some kind of energy exchange. You know, that doesn't happen online. It does, but it happens differently. So I would say go that way. I'm just sharing this because a lot of people might find it interesting. Also, I think this is part of my healing process, coming out of the closet. And um, so, yeah. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm the Goddess of Awesome. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I will have another video for you tomorrow. In the meantime, bright blessings and be well.